Well, the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is dust our ramekins. These are ramekins, and they're basically they're made out of like porcelain. We're going to cook the lob cakes in them. So dusting is you just butter whatever you're using, put some kind of oil in it, and um, then putting either flour or cocoa in it. I'm going to use cocoa. So unwrap your butter. You can also use oil or you can use that spray stuff also if you want to. All right, next step, take some cocoa, doesn't matter how much, put it into your ramekin, and then you're gonna kinda coat the bottom of your ramekin, and then making sure that the cocoa coats in one part from the bottom to the top. Move it around like this. This way it coats all the sides, and you can see why it's messy, it's going everywhere. Okay, and now the leftover, I'm going to dump into my second ramekin. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And the reason why I'm using cocoa and not flour, like you would usually do when you're dusting something, is because we're eventually going to turn these out. And um, when you use flour, you can kind of see like white spots on your lava cakes, which is gross. All right, so I'm going to put these to the side. And next, we're going to put together the batter. So the first thing I'm going to do is, because these are lava cakes, they have tons of chocolate, I'm going to melt together my chocolate and my butter. So I have a third of a cup of chocolate chips. Okay, next we need two tablespoons of butter. So I'm just going to use the same butter I used before. Two tablespoons. All butter sticks have a little tablespoon marking, teaspoons, whatever. Okay, and then because this is going in the microwave, um, I kind of cut it up in smaller pieces. doesn't really matter how big they are, just so it melts faster. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go microwave this for 30 seconds. While that's nuking, I'm going to mix up the eggs. So that's one whole egg and then one egg yolk. So the way I do egg yolks is not the thing with the shells because that takes forever and I don't know. Eggs are fun to play with. So what you do, crack your egg, then open it up with your thumbs right into your hand so you catch the egg yolk and kind of, yeah. And then put the egg yolk into your eggs. Okay. And next I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of brown sugar and also a pinch of salt and also half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so now this needs to be beaten until it's white and fluffy. So I got my handy dandy hand mixer. I'm going to beat this for about two minutes until you have ribbons forming. Okay, so now we have kind of stiff peaks forming and it's ribboning. So I'm going to put this to the side and go check on the melting chocolate. I'm going to bring it over here. And now we're going to mix it all together. So what I have is I have my chocolate, I have my egg stuff, and then I also have a tablespoon of flour and three quarters of a teaspoon of cocoa in a strainer, which I have a, I have a tea steeper strainer because they're so cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to fold this all together. So the whole point of folding is so that the air that's in the eggs doesn't get released. So put the eggs on top of the chocolate. You put it on top of the chocolate because if you put the chocolate on top of the eggs, the chocolate will knock air out of the eggs. All right. Now we're going to start folding this together. The way you fold is you need to keep a stiff wrist, start in the middle, and kind of pull back towards you and then flip over. And then flip your bowl. 
And all this should stay at 6 o'clock. You shouldn't be staring. It's folding. You can hear it sizzling. Okay, now this is kind of swirled together. I'm going to add in the dry stuff. And continue folding. And it's not streaking. So now what I'm going to do is dump it into my ramekins. It smells really good. I'm going to pour the batter into the, the ramekins. Make sure these are even. Okay, now it's ready to be baked. The reason why I put the ramekins onto a cookie sheet is because it helps insulate it so it cooks more evenly. So I'm going to come over to the oven, put these on a middle rack. I'm not burning myself. And then I'm going to bake it for 11 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. The timer's going off. I have new oven mitts, so I'm going to go take it out of the oven. Oh, those look delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, you can tell these are done because they're kind of hardened on the outside but squishy in the middle. All right, so the whole point of lava cakes is that they're not cooked on the inside, so that's why they're kind of squishy. So before we turn these out onto a plate, we need to go around the edges with this fancy little spatula thing. So make sure you hug the edges really close. These are, I hope these are cooked enough. Yeah, they look cooked enough. All right, now what I'm gonna do is get it onto my hand oven mitt. Next, take your plate, put it over like that. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, yum. Let's see if it worked on the inside. Oh, that's perfect. That's what you want a lava cake to look like. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, now the same thing. I'm going to put it on my hand, lay it on, and then flip it out. Yum. Okay, now to finish this off, we'll put on some raspberries. You can also put whipped cream on, you can dust it with like cocoa, you know, whatever. Yum. That's how you make lava cakes. Thanks for watching lunch.